Rumor has it that Cardi B and Offset broke up because he might have gotten someone else pregnant. Cardi seems really hurt about it and has been calling him out on social media. Offset, on the other hand, doesn't seem sorry and there is talk about him taking legal action against Cardi after she took her money out of their joint account. Things getting pretty messy behind the scenes. Cardi B allegedly drains Offset's bank account. I'm like, damn! You was out here doing what you was doing allegedly and Cardi B got access to your bank account, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yo, the drama between Offset and Cardi B is getting crazier. It seems like we are figuring out why Cardi has been calling out Offset on social media. Word on the street is that Offset not only cheated on Cardi but also allegedly had a baby with someone else. That's the real reason Cardi got mad and started flipping out. Honestly, it's not that surprising given Offset's history of cheating. They first met in 2016 and started dating after a grand gesture at the 2017 Super Bowl. However, Offset's cheating made Cardi keep the relationship secret. They eventually came clean, but Cardi wanted more commitment, dropping hints for him to put a ring on it. At the VMAs in August 2017, she made it clear she was ready for marriage. You want to get married? You know, I'm, I'm a woman. Every woman I think wants to get yeah, married yeah, yeah. and want to have children. It's early though. I ain't never too early to get married now. <laughs> you know, if you want to propose to me, you can. Back then. Cardi tried to keep things sneaky by not dropping Offset's name, but we all knew who she was talking about. She gave him the green light for a ring, hinting at marriage without explicitly saying it. Then she surprised everyone by posting a picture with the caption, single, bad and rich, I do the controlling. Rumors spread claiming they had split because Offset couldn't stay faithful. Cardi had apparently had enough of his wandering eye. Just when we thought it was over, Offset pulled a shocker and proposed to her in October 2017 during their Philly concert. So Offset's proposal seemed sweet, right? Turns out it was part of his sneaky plan. Rumor has it he knew Cardi loved weddings, so he went big to win her back. But here's the twist. He secretly said I do a month before that flashy proposal. Team Z exposed it, all with their leaked marriage certificate revealing a sneaky September wedding. So what's the deal with the privacy? Cardi and Offset aren't shy about their lives, but their marriage was suddenly kept private. Cardi B, the queen of spilling the beans, has decided to keep her love life private. Some speculated that it was to enjoy the moment away from the celebrity spotlight. Isn't that reasonable? Celebrity dating can be an emotional roller coaster. It gets spicier. Cardi had a serious doubts about Offset's loyalty, thinking he might be cheating. Drama alert! She didn't want to chaos in the public eye, and it turns out those suspicions weren't baseless. Word on the street spilled the tea, Offset had indeed cheated, leading to that mysterious Instagram post. Hold tight for this juicy tale. That jaw-dropping $500,000 ring Offset used to propose, it was his way of saying sorry for causing a mess. But brace yourself, there is a plot twist. They were already married when this flashy proposal happened. Talk about a love story roller coaster. Picture this a sneaky public apology, a giant ring, and Cardi caught in a social media storm. Offset played his cards right, knowing a refusal would stir up a scandal. When TMZ spilled the tea, Cardi went all out, declaring, This is why I named my album Invasion of Privacy. People do the most to nose into your life. Well, fuck it. But hold up, there is more. Cardi spilled the tea on why they kept things silent. Their love story had its bumps, breakups and growing pains. In her words, our relationship was so new, breaking up and making up. One morning in September, we woke up and decided to get married. Just us, my cousin, I do, with no dress, no makeup and no ring. Wait, there is a twist in the proposal drama. Cardi insisted Offset's on stage proposal wasn't about cheating. It was his way of giving her that dreamy moment. She appreciates and loves him for it. Now that nosy folks know, they can't stop saying she had a baby out of wedlock. 
After all that drama, Cardi spilled the beans in an interview a couple of months later. She admitted Offset had cheated, saying, Everybody's coming down my neck, like, why are you not leaving him? I'm rich, I'm talented, I could get any man I want. But I want to work out my issues with my man. This is my life, I'll take my time and decide. It's not right what he did, but people don't know what I did, cause I ain't no angel. Hold on, the plot thickens. Another cheating scandal followed. Offset was caught trying to arrange a threesome with rapper Cuban Doll and a friend, asking I want you and Cuban, can you make that happen? I go to New Orleans tomorrow. I'll fly you all, I'll fly her there, say on Saturday. The celebrity love roller coaster never seems to end. Imagine this, the bombshell about potential threesome dropped when Cardi was pregnant with their firstborn culture. Rumors swirled and Cardi sensed trouble before it hit the headlines. She even thought about calling it quits while heavily pregnant, determined to give baby culture a shot at a stable childhood with both parents. Now, you'd expect Offset to straighten up, right? Nope. He continued his escapades, playing fast and loose with fidelity in Hollywood. Things got even more dramatic, pushing Cardi to her breaking point. In December 2018, she shocked everyone by filing for divorce, revealing that things just weren't working between them. Things just haven't been working out between us for a long time, and it's nobody's fault. It's just like, I guess we grew out of love, but we're not together anymore. Cardi didn't reveal anything about Offset cheating, so everyone assumed it was just the usual irreconcilable differences. But wait for it, the side piece took the stage revealing she had an affair with none other than Offset himself. Bring on the drama, Cardi who was deeply hurt discovered the infidelity and decided she'd had enough. She filed for a divorce and made the difficult decision to divorce Offset. I have not messed with Offset since he's had his baby. Um, I didn't know how serious this marriage was. Um, you know, I kind of read or kind of see things, but um, I haven't like, I, it took until today to actually like get into this, uh, seeing everything. You know, a lot of girls would just deal with this situation and just be like, yo, like, um, I took Cardi B's or I'm the reason that they're getting a divorce or anything. Like, I feel um, ashamed. Okay, check this out. We've seen our fair share of Hollywood cheating stories, but this one takes the cake. Instead of saying sorry for messing up, Offset decided to blame Cardi's fans, saying you all won. Like, did we force him to cheat or something? Dude, own up to your actions. People weren't buying it, though. They caught him out for pointing fingers instead of taking responsibility. Hold on, it gets crazier. A few days later, Offset tried to win Cardi back with a tweet saying, forget you all, I miss Cardi, making it seem like it's everyone else's fault. Then he went all out with a video pouring his heart out, saying he wants her back. I only got one birthday wish, and that's to get my, my, my wife back, Cardi, you know what I'm saying? We're going through a lot of things right now, a lot of things on the media. I want to apologize to you, Cardi, you know, I embarrassed you. I made you look crazy, doing things I ain't had no business, I was partaking in activity. I shouldn't have been taken in. I know, right? It's like a teenager trying to get out of being grounded. But hold on tight because it gets even crazier. Offset crashed Cardi's Rolling Loud performance in front of 60,000 people, pulling this grand gesture. The drama between Cardi B and Offset just keeps escalating. It seemed like Offset was playing some serious mind games, manipulating Cardi into taking him back. Remember that proposal stunt? Same old trick, a public gesture and pressure to make it hard for her to say no. Sneaky, right? But he took it up a notch by getting a tattoo of Cardi's face on his neck. Talk about going all out. Cardi reclaimed him, called off the divorce and the internet went wild. 
people were mocking her for not standing firm and the backlash was real. Cardi clapped back saying, it's not right for a man to cheat, but what do you want me to do? Sleep with another man, start over and get cheated on again. This sort of thing happens to everyone. But here is the kicker. Offset's plea wasn't the only reason she took him back. People in her circle, especially her father, pressured her to fix things with Offset. She even tweeted about her father yelling at her over the breakup. The drama with Cardi B and Offset just never seems to end. And it's not just Cardi's dad. Offset's dad joined the party too. He went on a rant, blaming Cardi for the divorce, calling her insecure and jealous. He said it's a never-ending drama fueled by jealousy, envy, insecurity, psychological issues and drugs. Fast forward to Cardi filing for divorce, asking for primary custody of culture. We all thought it was the end, right? But Cardi wasn't letting go that easily. Just weeks after filing she was spotted cozing up with Offset. The we are done now vibe didn't last long. The worst thing was just for show, a total stunt. Cardi and Offset weren't even pretending, they were all over each other, making it clear they weren't really break up. They tried to patch things up with Offset, giving Cardi a Rolls Royce for her birthday, but she filed for divorce a few days later. Then, Cardi dropped WAP, with Megan Thee Stallion hitting number one on the Billboard Hot 100. So yeah, the stunt worked. But the drama didn't stop. In June 2023, blogger Tasha K stirred the pot, claiming Offset was back to cheating. Cardi and Tasha K have a history of feuding, and Tasha still owes Cardi $4 million. Adding to the mess, Tasha posted a video of a woman saying Offset sneaked her into his home with Cardi. Offset tried to blame Cardi for his cheating and tweeting. My wife stole with the man on me, gang. Cardi didn't buy it though, she hit up Clubhouse to slam Offset, strongly hinting at his infidelity while denying she cheated on him. It's a wild ride. Kills me for the thing, you know that you are guilty of. And I see that it is easy for you to blame everything on me. Yes, honey! Things calmed down after that, but to no one's surprise they sparked breakup rumors again, a few weeks ago and she said, you know when you just tell grow relationships I'm tired of protecting people's feelings, I got to put myself first. We don't know what's going on between them right now, but it appears to be serious, because we have literally never seen and Cardi get this upset at Offset before, even after he cheated on her that many times, so at this point we began to suspect that something is going on between them, especially after Cardi went off on him on live. Cause you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again, and she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to... Yo, this motherfucker really likes to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time. When, I, when I'm not the most confident. They like, he likes to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. He, he knows yesterday I could have been out. I could have been chilling. I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house. He knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been fucking feeling yourself... You bitch ass nigga cause of your bitch ass album and shit And you really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years that I motherfucking up your ass Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your bitch ass And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet Because whenever I fuck I tell you something you don't take shit seriously We initially assumed it had something to do with Offset hanging out with Jade again Which would have been sufficient to explain why Cardi was so upset Remember Jade, the bartender who sparked major drama a few years ago when she became involved with Offset? Jade for sure, Cardi wasn't having it and ended up paying two men to pay Jade and her sister a visit for messing with her man. Things went legal, Cardi was charged and she narrowly avoided jail time by doing community service for the entire ordeal. 
Guess who showed up at Offset recent birthday bash? Jade, you've got it. You don't have to be a genius to figure out why Cardi is upset after all of Cardi's drama allegedly hanging out with Jade is like rubbing salt in the wound. Simple and straightforward. Jade, on the other hand, denied attending the party, saying, I was out eating at a public restaurant, I wasn't at the pathetic ass party, now please leave me alone. However, new photos emerged revealing that they were indeed at the same party, further complicating matters. Offset still denied it, writing in the comments, Cap, that was not my event, at Coco I had a private event, after that I went to a public party, at Player, and the owner will be reviewing the security footage. I'm sick of having my name associated with stupid things, I'm nowhere near this girl. I have no control over where people go, it isn't my party. Offset denying being with Jay doesn't make things any better for him and Cardi. In fact, they seem worse than ever. For the first time, Cardi took steps to separate her finances from Offset. According to an insider, Cardi managed most of the money in the relationship, with her focus on saving and investing, while Offset was into wild spending. The insider claims, Cardi made the most of the money for the family, and by most I mean like 95% of it. Cardi not only has the money but also real estate, owning homes in Atlanta and New Jersey. She is getting both properties without using any of Offset's money. But the drama doesn't end there. The streets are now buzzing with rumors that Offset allegedly got someone else pregnant. This supposedly pushed Cardi over the edge as being a stepmom to Offset's existing kids was fine but having a whole other child on her was a deal breaker. And if that wasn't enough, Offset is allegedly threatening legal action against Cardi for moving money from their joint account. Even though most of the money was hers, the account was joint and Offset claims she had no right to move it without his permission. Fans are shook by this drama, leaving comments like, the more you tolerate, the more they will do. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below and don't forget to check out the next video for more updates on daily drama.